much. Hey, I got a quick question. <laughs> What's up, dude? Do you know how your personal data is being used online? No, I don't. No, not at all. I think just through, like, Google. I mean, I have a VPN, so it really doesn't matter. You're searching for Wendy's, and you're hungry next to you, know, there's an advertisement for Wendy's on your Facebook. It doesn't bother me, personally. I'm, a, I'm aware of it, yes. It's time to get to the bottom of this. I've been hearing for a while now that Facebook and Instagram are actively listening to your real life conversations using the smartphone apps on your phone and then serving you hyper targeted ads. So I was just scrolling through my Instagram because we were gonna do a thing where we tested this out. But let me just tell you, earlier today I asked this kid if he needed an Advil. Look, I literally have an Advil ad. That was probably an hour ago. And another thing was, check this out. This kid, he's got the swoon shirt on, right? Brandon was over and we were talking about shirt blanks for a really long time. I'm always talking about shirt blanks, right? Look, that's just a plain t-shirt. It's almost like they're listening to us. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna test this guy's theory out. Try to pull up an ad tailored to what we're talking about. Yeah, what do we want to get it to pull up? Um, I'm feeling pretty hungry, bro. I want some, um, pizza. Mmm, mm, pizza. pizza. <laughs> oh, I really want some pizza. Please, for dinner, Dad, can we get some pizza? <laughs> pizza. We'll check back in a few to see if it works. For real, though, personal technology has enabled corporations to infringe on the lives of the people like never before. The majority of people are not aware of how their personal data is being used online. And over a third of the world population, being 2.5 billion people, use a Facebook product on a regular basis. And with so many people using the service on a regular basis, there are no checks and balances put in place to limit the power of the company itself. Just today, I was discussing a bachelor party on the phone with a friend, and the only hotel we discussed was the Encore. Right after I got off the phone, I went on Instagram, and I was served this ad. Coincidence? I don't know. All we're gonna do is just scroll through our Instagrams and check to see if we have anything. I was low-key thinking about wings and then wings popped up. <laughs> Let me keep scrolling. Yo! Wait, no, there's no way. Check this out. Look at that. What is that? What do you- Look, that's a pizza ad. Papa Murphy's pizza ad. A while back, Mark Zuckerberg came under fire for how their company gives no clear explanation on how their consumers' data is being used. During this time, Facebook had allegations of biased advertising tailored for each individual person during the 2016 presidential election. Senator, we provided support to the Trump campaign similar to what we provide to any advertiser or campaign who asked for it. He appeared before the Senate and had to clarify what exactly Facebook does to a user's data. Your user agreement sucks. Go back home and rewrite it. Non-Swahili. This caused for a change in terms of service, making it easier for people to read and understand. Non-Swahili. I thought I had it all together, but I was led astray the day you walked away. 